wizard's first rule. Richard frowned. What? Wizard's first rule. People are stupid. Richard and Kalen frowned even more. People are stupid. Given proper motivation, almost anyone will believe almost anything. Because people are stupid, they will believe a lie because they want to believe it's true, or because they are afraid it might be true. People's heads are full of knowledge, facts, and beliefs, and most of it is false, yet they think it all true. People are stupid. They can only rarely tell the difference between a lie and the truth, and yet they are confident they can, and so are all the easier to fool. Because of the wizard's first rule, the old wizards created confessors and seekers as a means of helping find the truth, when the truth is important enough. Rawl knows the wizard's rules. He is using the first one. People need an enemy to feel a sense of purpose. It's easy to lead people when they have a sense of purpose. Sense of purpose is more important by far than the truth. In fact, truth has no bearing in this. Dark and Rawl is providing them with an enemy, other than himself. A sense of purpose. People are stupid. They want to believe, so they do. But they were his own people, Kalen protested. He was killing his supporters. You will notice not all the people were killed. Some were raped, tortured, but left alive to flee, to spread the news. You will also note how none of the soldiers were left alive to dispute the story. That it isn't the truth doesn't matter, and the ones hearing the story will believe it because it provides them with a sense of purpose, an enemy to rally against. The survivors will spread the word like a wildfire. Even though Rawl has destroyed a few towns that were loyal to him and a few of his soldiers, he has gained many more towns to his side, a hundredfold over. Even more people will rally around him and support him because he has told them he wants to protect them from this enemy. Truth is hard to sell. It gives no sense of purpose. It is simply truth. Richard sat back, a little stunned. But it isn't true. How can Rawl get away with it? How could everyone believe it? Zed gave him a stern look. You knew better. You knew it wasn't Westlanders. Yet even you doubted your knowledge. You were afraid it was true. Being afraid something is true is accepting the possibility. Accepting the possibility is the first step to believing. At least you are smart enough to question. Think of how easy it is to believe for people who don't question, who don't even know how to question. For most people, it's not the truth that is important, it's the cause. Rawl is intelligent. He has given them a cause. His eyes glinted with purpose. It is the wizard's first rule because it is the most important. Remember it. But the ones who did the killing, they knew it was murder. How could they do it? Zed shrugged. Sense of purpose. They did it for the cause. But that goes against nature. Murder goes against nature. The wizard smiled. Murder is the way of nature of all living things. Richard knew Zed was sucking him in. It was his way to draw you in with an outrageous statement. But his blood was up and he couldn't help protesting. Only some of nature, like predators, and that's only to survive. Look about at these trees. They can't even think of murder. Murder is the way of all things, the way of nature, Zed repeated. Every living thing is a murderer. Richard looked to Kalen for support. Don't look at me, she said. I learned a long time ago not to debate with wizards. Richard looked up at the beautiful big pine spreading over them, illuminated in the firelight. A spark of understanding lit in his mind. He saw the branches stretched out with murderous intent, 
in a years-long struggle to reach the sunlight and dispatch its neighbors with its shade. Success would give space for its offspring, many of which would also shrivel in the shade of the parent. Several close neighbors of the big pine were withered and weak, victims all. It was true. The design of nature was success by murder. Zed watched Richard's eyes. This was a lesson, the way the old man had taught Richard since he was young. You have learned something, my boy? Richard nodded. Life for the strongest. There is no sympathy for the slain. Only admiration for the winner's strength. But people don't think that way, Kaelin said, unable to hold her tongue. Zed gave a sly smile. No? He pointed to a small, withered tree near them. Look at this tree, dear one. He pointed to the big pine. And this. Tell me which you admire more. This one, she said, pointing at the big pine. It's a beautiful tree. This one, you see? People do think this way. It's beautiful, you said. You chose the tree that murders, not the one murdered. Zed smiled triumphantly. The way of nature. Kaelin folded her arms. I knew I should have kept my mouth shut. You may keep your mouth closed if you wish, but don't close your mind. 